Everybody. For those of you who don't know, my name is Michael Forrest, and welcome to It's Shark Time. Before we start out, just a quick word about text messages. Allspace has made it possible for us to suspend those. I like to keep mine off during performances. This way, nobody disturbs me with giant text messages in, this, in my face telling me to get off the stage. Right? Uh, but if you do need to get a hold of us, really, the best way to do it is by joining our Discord, and you'll find the address right here on the beam below me, and hopefully I got that position right. I think I did. I think I nailed it. I nailed it, everybody? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. All right. Nailed well, it. Well, uh, you know, just a quick note about uh, your microphone icon in your lower left. When that's clear, we can hear everything that's happening in your environment. And you know what? I love that. I love being able to hear you guys laugh. I love being able to interact with you. But I tell you what I don't love. I love going over those, you know, that footage when we put it up on YouTube and we start hearing... <sighs> And then a couple of minutes later, you hear, uh, and then you hear, you hear, somebody comes in 20 minutes late and you hear, um, I don't know what this is all about. You know, yeah, because the show's almost over. That makes sense, right? You know, so just do me a favor. Just be mindful of our YouTube footage. It would help a lot. And we appreciate that, you know, and if you notice somebody has any feedback, you know, help them out by, you know, telling them about it. Uh, also, you know, if you happen to notice during this event, my producer or one of my moderators turns your microphone to red, that just means that maybe you have some feedback or something like that, or something's happening in the background, like a barking dog or whatever, and they want to be but uh, you can't participate. You have that pink cheek smiley face in your emoji wheel, and when you have that, you can use that to express yourself any number of different ways. I'll leave it to you to choose which one's the most appropriate, but if I could, I'd like to reserve this one because it's a giant hand sticking out of your head. It's more distracting than that. We're going to use that as kind of a signal when things go wrong. So let's say, you know, Sharky starts acting up and he starts making fun of me and he's jumping around. Oh, come on, Sharky, you know you do it, right? <laughs> so, you know, he's uh, doing that kind of thing, you know. And if or maybe, you know, the, the, the roof starts cracking, you know, and we're taking on water, I'm going to want to know about that. Or if you see an actual cracking, you know, that's useful too. It's a good way yeah, to signal me. Yeah. Or if my voice gets choppy, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, you guys man. got the idea. All right, so How now have you had? I've hosted over, like, uh, this month we're coming up on 700 events. It's a lot. And in that time, the question I get asked every single day is, why are we here? Right? So I can start out our events by asking you guys that question. And if, for those of you that are new, the answer is right here on the bottom, those three words. All right. So everybody, why are we here? Let's hear it. Be the shark. Be the shark. Be the shark. Be the shark. Okay. All right. That was good. But we got a nice crowd here. Come on. Let me hear it. Candid people, why are we here? To feed. Be a shark. Be a shark. Let me hear that music. Be a shark. A shark. All right. Awesome. Very cool. All right. In order to feed a shark, we're going to need a shark. You guys want to meet my friends? I'm going to bring them out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's bring them out. We got Melvin. We got Buster. And we got Fang. All right, and these are my friends, and they're looking good now. But for a while, they were looking super skinny. It was really sad. And I kept looking for a way to feed my friends. I looked all over all space, and nobody was willing to help. So I started hosting the events. I started doing like 10 a week. And while we had hundreds of people coming through our experiences, nobody was willing to help me feed a shark. It was really sad, right? So, you know, but I, got, I talked about it with an admin, and that admin gave me some advice that changed my life. They told me that all space users would do absolutely anything for a world building kit. And you know what? We found that to be true. All right. You guys need some incentive. You need some motivation to help me save the world one shark at a time. Right. So what we have for you here today is this 12 piece world building kit. Now, throughout this event, you're going to be seeing different items appear over here, over this red circle. All right. And those are going to be items from our prize kit. Now, it begins with this aquarium. Right, and this aquarium is empty and it's yours to fill any number of ways. It includes a bunch of different items. That, what's this? going on Leslie disappointed by the price what's going on Leslie no for Leslie okay all right I, I sounded like uh, maybe that's why you know we all know how I feel about that all right cool that's okay. uh, I apologize. oh no no it's cool is it anyone important no, that's why I didn't answer. More importantly, do they know where you are right now? Just in case we have you up. Uh oh, you don't care? Okay, all right, good. As long as they're not the kind of press drive. Anyway, throughout this event, you're going to be seeing different items appear here, and we're hoping that's going to make you want this kit enough to volunteer to be on our show and help me feed a shark, right? Uh, and to do this, what you're going to do is, Sharky, if you wouldn't mind, 
go ahead and hang out with the good people over here. If anyone would like to be a volunteer on today's show, just come up to this opening right here. You'll see Sharky floating in the water right here. Just aim your pointer at Sharky's nose. You're going to find you get a spinning target. You squeeze and release your trigger one time, and a message will appear right in front of you. There you can enter your Allspace username. Now, this has to be your Allspace username, not your display name, because we need that in order to distribute our prize. And if you don't know what your username is, you can find it easily enough by pressing on that blue and white triangle button, and your main menu opens up in front of you, and you have all these tabs in the bottom, and one of them on the very bottom right in the middle area is a smiley face that says me you but me and it says you know and you press on that and you see your avatar looking back at you you can fix your hair check out your look you know but while you're doing that on the left hand side you'll see your display name and directly below that in parentheses is your username and that's the name we need in order to track you down in order to give you your prize if you're one of our winners all right now while you guys feel that out listen i know what's going on in the campfire I do. I heard all those things they were saying about you. I did, you know, and it was uh, it was pretty bad, you know, and I know that that one's trying to steal your girlfriend. I heard all about it. I know how they're stealing your event tiles and they're scheduling their event right over yours and they've got teams of trolls trolling your events. I am aware, right? And while all of this is going on, listen, you can help me make Allspace a better place. Any of those people that are giving you a hard time, send them a come visit. Right. They'll come here, my friends will get to eat, all right, and everybody wins. And all space is just a better place overall. And you know what? We did it together. Right? That's awesome. All right. So now uh, the way this is gonna work is you're gonna see in your lower right, you're gonna see a raise hand button appear as if by magic. Right? It's true. That's what magic looks like in VR. So all you have to do now is just press that raise hand button, it'll turn blue, and you don't have to do any more than that. All right. We do ask that if you come up that you have your microphone open because we are going to be able to need to talk to you. All right. So what do you think, Melvin, Buster, and Fang? Do you want to hear tonight's specials? Let's see who's on the menu, shall we? We already got eight people. We got variety tonight. We love variety. All right, here we go. Oh, we're up to nine. Check that out. All right, let's see. Who are we gonna have up today? Let's see, hmm, we got a lot of people here. There's a lot to choose from. Let's see. All right, well, we got Hales. Let's take Hales. All right, let's see. Who else do we have? We have Smarty Marty. We're gonna have Smarty Marty up. All right. Oh my god. Who else do we have? Oh, you're good. Yeah, well, uh, there's no reason to get religious about helping me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, who else do we have here? Uh, let's see. Uh, Tay 1993 said so at the beginning excited. that she wanted to be on the show. So there we go. Oh, that's cool. You're excited. That's good. You know what? My friends are excited too. Hey. All right, for anyone I just called, I'm going to be extending these bridges. Sharky, get out the way. Professional. Sharky. Okay. <laughs> that was close. Need oh, yeah, that's going to happen one day when the bridge just comes out and messes you up, Sharky. I told you to be careful about that. <laughs> Right. Anyone I call, just come on up here. And listen, if you need to recenter, do it now. Because if you do it on stage, watch what happens. End up back in the audience. And this is awkward for everybody. How are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? Doing hey, good? good? Hey, Who's this? Hey, this is no soup for you. Okay. Well, all right. Well. Okay, oh well, you know, that's sad. No soup for me. Okay, everybody, listen, we're going to pull back these bridges. Because you know what? Here it is, Shark Time. We discourage escape because escape is bad. All right, Tay1993, you really want to be on the show. Have you ever been on the show before? No. No? Have you seen it or all? Oh, what have you heard? Yeah. You were I've super seen eager. It. Oh, you have? All right, cool. All right, very nice. How long have you been around Allspace for? Mm, several years. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. And let's see. Uh, Smarty Marty is an absolute legend in Allspace. Been around for a while, right? Now, let me ask you, right? You've been on the show a bunch of times, right? So yeah. you know what's going on. What made you come up today? I finally got picked. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, good. All right, that's awesome. You know, and you've been around all space for a long time. You have a strategy tonight because you've watched the show for a while, so you have some idea how it works. I don't really have a strategy. I kind of will be happy if you feed me to a shark or give me a prize. I don't care. Okay, so you're good either way. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe stand over Fang. Fang's really hungry. Hales, you're back. You're doing it again. <laughs> I right? will stand I'm back in his work kid. Yay. <laughs> And do you have a strategy tonight? Uh, just yeah, no, same, same old, same old. Just talk until my mouth my phone zero. stop talking. Okay, cool. And you can see everything okay tonight, right? <laughs> yeah, everything's here, and I All didn't right. fall in awesome. the water again. Oh, I'm so, so glad. Yay! I'm so glad. That's awesome. All right, everybody, let's get started. You'll all follow me up this ramp here. What we're gonna see up top is you got we've got these three yellow X's. And what you want to do is stand on one of these yellow X's and make yourself at home, make yourself comfortable because, you know, hopefully you'll be here for a while. All right. And uh, you know, so get situated on one of those yellow X's. Anyone will do. You know, go ahead, everybody. Let's see. Oh, everyone's all hesitant. Check it out. They're all waiting, like waiting for someone else to pick. No, you go first. No, you go first. I'm going to go first. All right. We'll I was trying to be polite. 
That's okay. That's okay that we like that. Here. Oh, Go ahead yeah. and press the consent button oh, just no. a minor formality for our insurance no, company. No, no, Michael Farr's oh, Spang had oh, an appetizer. No. I was going to say, somebody. should I not press the button? Because she just died. <laughs> Let's see. No, no. Uh, you were checked in okay, so you're all right. How about you, uh, Tay1993? Okay. Go ahead and press on that uh, consent button for me. Yeah, try okay. it. And we're going to go rescue Hales. Hales, what did I you forget? Forgot. I forgot to check in. <laughs> yeah, that that's okay. But look, there's good news. There's still enough left of you to play. So come on back up. All right, there we go. Yay. And we'll have you back up here. All right, now, did you want to check in Sharky, with Sharky now? Or, uh, you know, I, can, uh, I can check so. in manually. We have options now. All right, there we go. Very cool. All right, excellent. But listen, we won't, we won't want uh, Tay 1993 and Smarty Marty to be uncomfortable. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise up oh. these glass enclosures just to make them feel more safe and secure. There we go. Very nice. All right. So now, uh, you know, just a friendly reminder, any attempt to escape is going to, you know, disqualify you from our events. And we are told that that's unfair. But you know what's unfair is denying my friends a chance to eat. It's just animal cruelty, and I will not stand for it. All right. Now we're going to get Hales all checked in. Now hopefully this will work. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right, it worked. Awesome. Now, listen, we don't want you to feel left out, so here's a glass enclosure Yay. of your very own. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Go. Very nice. All right, now, I have seen over here, and you look like I'm doing something. No, I'm talking like from there. I'm really aptly one of the questions. Help me remember what I have to say. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Now, the way this is going to work is we're going to ask our volunteers a question. All right, and now, the good news is these, there are no wrong answers here at church. Like, only those answers that can convince you to our audience which one of our volunteers deserves to live the most. That's it. Pretty easy. So you're going to notice that a number has appeared above your heads right there, right? What you're going to see now is that our our audience can vote for our volunteer by clicking on their name. Now, everybody gets one vote, but you can change it at any time. You're free to distribute however you like. So let's say that, that Tay1993 has an incredible answer and you really like oh. What you can do is press on the nameplate. And, you know, the number will go up. I hear they're going nuts, so I guess I think you guys got the idea. Let's say the Smarty Marty has an even better answer. You can change your vote at any time until we lock in the votes, all right? So let's see how we're doing here. Wow, Smarty Marty, <laughs> people really like you. Okay, yeah. all right, we got somebody popular up here. On. We haven't even asked any questions yet, and you guys already have favorites. Right, let's see if we can even the odds by getting to know our volunteers a little bit. Tay, we're going to start out with you. Are you ready for your question? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, just this week over at Sharky's Trawler, a sea turtle appeared just outside. Now, this sea turtle always been doing day, night, all day and all night has been staring at Sharky's uh, Sharky's trailer, and it's starting to get on his last nerve. He can't handle it. So he swam over to that structure over there. That's the Ravenall Sea Lab. And he spoke to our lead researcher, Dr. Starling, right? And he's trying to look for an answer. And so we turn to our friend, our good friend, science for a solution, right? Dr. Starling said that we should form a panel, right? And see if we, you know, we could take some theories about why this is happening, all right? So guess what? You're it. Tay, 1993, why do you think this, uh, this turtle has been hanging outside Sharky's trawler staring at him like that? <laughs> Because <laughs> he wants to be friends with Sharky. Okay. Oh, that's a good answer, everybody. He's looking for a friend. Okay. All right, Smarty Marty, how about you? Why is this, why is this sea turtle hanging outside Sharky's trailer all day and all night? Because they went to, they met at the same bar one night and had a, and checked out the same girl. And now he's mad because Sharky got him. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Sharky, your girlfriend's going to be very upset, but good for you. That's probably the same bar. It's over that hill. Fang hangs out there a lot. All right, Hans, yeah. let me ask you, why do you think the sea turtles are hanging outside of Sharky's trawler all night and all day? He's jealous because he's a turtle. He's stuck with his home on his back all the time. Yeah. He just wants oh, sort of to see how the other half lives. That's a good one. That's a really good answer. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> Texel King 24, I got to know. What was that? No, 5 8, my bad. Oh, okay. Well, you might want to mute yourself <laughs> if you're doing that. No, because I'm sitting there and I'm hearing something that sounds an awful lot like. <sighs> And we know I don't like that. All right, cool. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. Listen, you've all had a moment to volunteer, so I'll play my favorite song while you guys think about the conferences. I mean, think about their fans. But we want the band again. More than you paid the band. Um, yeah, but this is business with Tabitha. Let's not get into it now. Okay, all right. Oh, I see. A little bit of a protest. We lost our drum section. All right, it's cool, everybody. All right, we'll take a moment to think about the consequences. You know, these people, they have friends, they have family. Some of them are very popular in all space. So what we're going to do, 
is we're going to lock our votes in three, two, and one. The voting is now closed. So if you're clicking on the name page and you're like, why aren't the numbers changing? That's why the numbers aren't changing. All right, let's see how we did, everybody. Um, oh, no. It's Marty, Marty. Evening. Um, oh, no. Do you have any plans later? No. Uh, apparently I have plans to feed a shark. Okay, you did say you'd be happy either way, and maybe you'll come back and see us again. All right, but just a bit of friendly advice. You may have heard this before, but if you give us a good scream on the way out, it really helps the process, and okay. it'll freak out your real-world neighbors. So okay. here we go. All right, here we go. There we go. Thank you, Marty. All right, listen. Those of you that are here for the first time, we have to have a talk. We do. All right. Now, listen, I know what that looks like. When we first released this event, we were very proud of it. We showed it to the admins. The admins were absolutely, completely horrified. Right. And uh, so what happened was uh, we had to complain to them that that effect you just saw was just seasoning. That's all that was. All right. What's going on over here, young Dutch? Yeah, yeah. He's going to pick one more person because he's got that opening up there. I'm pretty sure he'll do it. You know, when he gets to it, oh, you know what I'm saying? Really? All right, so, so what's happening here is that effect you saw was just seasoning. If you're back at the campfire and you're talking about what a nice time you had in the shark time, I want you all to please remember that's just seasoning. That's all that is. We're going to have T-shirts made up. We're going to have mugs and all that stuff. But listen, I'm, rep I'm, re I'm depending on all of you to help me raise awareness that that's all that is. Okay? And you didn't see nothing. All clear? All right, cool. I feel, you know, I, I'm glad we can talk like this. Do I feel so close to all of you? All right. Well, as as our audience just pointed no, out, no, that we yeah. do have an opening now. So let's uh, let's take a look at our list and see if anybody else wants to come up as we enter our second round here. All right. Let's clear our scores out here. There we go. Let's see. Who do we have? I heard somebody say me. I heard that very clearly. Who said me? It was Leslie facing me. I see some hands going up. Fudge Man is back. We've had him before. All right. Cool. So let's take a look at our list and see who we see because we got like nine plus people here. A lot of options. All right. Let's see. Who do we have? Give it to hmm. someone who hasn't been up there. Let's see. Okay. Give it to someone who hasn't been up there. That's a good. That's a good thing. All right. Let's see. Who do we have? Uh, we have uh, David. Give it up here. All right, David. You're going to be coming up now. All right. Here we go. Okay. Username's Lucky. So maybe. Oh wait. Oh God. Did you not want to come up? <laughs> no, I do, I do. I'm just nervous. <laughs> okay, all right. So, all right. Well, don't be nervous. This is what we're here. You know what? I'm going to extend these bridges out here. Now, remember, I'm trying to recenter because if we do that on stage, you end up back in the audience like this. And then I can, you know, come around here and walk you up and tell you, don't be scared. Come on, let's go. All right. So now, let me ask you this. How long have you been around all space for, David? Uh, about a year, on and off. About a year. Now, I'm just pulling the bridges back. Don't be nervous about that. It's cool. They're just coming back just so you won't escape. That's the only reason why. So you've been on for about a year. Have you ever been to the show before? Nope. Oh, first time. What do you think so far? Doing okay? Uh, it's pretty fun. It's exciting. All right, cool. Pretty fun. So we can work on it. That's cool. All right. So what we're going to do is I want you to come up this ramp here, right? It's very, you know, and there we go. Very good. Just a little closer, right? And into this middle, middle X right here. I want you to stand right on that X. It's right on that X. Now, in, in the interest of fairness, I want you to press down on your left thumbstick. Let's do that once for me. Just once. You go very good. That's you know, your left thumbstick. Just press down. Cool. Now, press that consent button right in front of you. Just a minor formality for our insurance company. Excellent. Very good. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to raise up this glass enclosure here. Now, just to make it feel safe. You feel safe. Oh, goodness. Or Don't be kind sad. Of. You do? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, open up our voting. So now you're able to vote for our volunteers. We're going to start out on the other end this time with Hales. All right. Now, Hales, oh, are no. you ready for your question? Yeah, I go. You are. I okay. Well. All right. Let's <laughs> see. Now, this week in one of our events, somebody asked me about avatar legs. All right. Now, all space used to have legs on their avatars. Right. That's a thing. Now, uh, you know, we were just wondering, though. So, in particular, my friends were wondering, what did the all space admins do with all of those legs when they took them away? My friends really want to know. What do you think, Hales? <laughs> well, I mean, they fed them to Sharky, right? Well, Sharky says no. So we're wondering where they are. Yeah, and we can find them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what, do you, what do you think they may have done with them? They hit you, you... in the lab. The lab. They're all Turkey. in the lab. It's always where you least expect it. All right, excellent. Very good. All right, now, David, let me ask you, what do you think the Allspace admins did with all of our legs? Uh, I think they sent them over to that application, what's it called, V-Time? Because they're not moving, and mm. apparently they need legs to move. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. Cool. And you know what? And that's with another. It's always a good thing. All right. Cool. All right. Now, today, 1993. Let me ask you, what did all space admins do with our legs? I think they sent them over to another world. Another world. <laughs> oh, so they have like this mm-hmm. interdimensional portal type thing. That makes sense. They do work with portals a lot, and they do have powers. I, I could believe it. All right, everybody, I want you to take a moment to think about which volunteer you like the best. All right, we're going to play what's left of our theme music. Pitch. Much. And now we're going to, you know, uh, let you think about the consequences of your actions. All right. Think about their families, their friends, how some of them are future event hosts. You know, think about the future of all space here. What do we got going on here? Oh, look, they're going all over the place. Looks like David's got some friends, everybody. Mr. So producer, you're not allowed to pick favorite. That's not fair. But you know what? <laughs> Thank it's you. Fair at the bottom of the ocean. It's not. All right, everybody. So we're going to lock in our votes now that you've had some time to think about it. So now the vote is closed, and let's see how we did. All right, let's see. We have. Oh, look at this, everybody. We don't have a lowest score. The good news is they get to move on to our next round, our third round. And as we move into our third round, I want to remind everybody listen, when you came in, you may have seen that we have. Patreon up in the lobby. We also have this bias of coffee here. We are trying to raise money to put on more interactive experiences like this one, but also because, listen, we joke around in here an awful lot about feeding a shark, but in the real world, we're actually trying to save a shark. All right, we're going to give a portion of what we call to the Bimini Shark Lab. They do great work. They raise awareness about shark finning and some of the environmental challenges that are facing sharks in our ocean today. We want to thank all of you for helping us do our part, even just coming out to our events and supporting us and subscribing to us on YouTube. That's the best. And listen, if you guys have anything to say, you don't got to call it out under the camera we invite you to sign our guest book out in the lobby all right so if you have any feedback you want to tell us something good or bad just let us know on that uh you know on that on that guest book outside all right right in the lobby there you can wait till after the show it's fine you know but uh you know d- do give us some feedback because we'd like to hear from you all right now let's begin our third round so uh well everybody all right here we go i think i may have already done that but i want to be sure give everyone their fair shot all right cool all right so david are you ready for your question yes all right you just robbed a bank you monster right yeah you got away with it too you're sitting at the airport with your ticket you're waiting in the terminal right and uh you know but your flight your flight's been delayed you're gonna head out to some exotic locale you're gonna live out your days in a lap of luxury right you know you live in large and you're just you can't wait but the plane's delayed david delayed and you're watching news to pass the time on the tv they got set up in the waiting area and you happen to see on the news that they're taking your best friend out in handcuffs claiming that they've caught the bank robber which you know is you your friend has been falsely accused, and we're wondering, David, do you get on the plane? If so, why? Yes. <laughs> I heard somebody in the audience answer yes. You're not up there, audience. Okay. All right, let's see, David. What do you say? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I've never had that much money before, so I think I would say yes, but I'd go back and bail out my friend. <laughs> Oh, all right. So you'd go set up and then send him some legal counsel, like Kobe forgives you because you're his exactly. friend now. Oh, I send, see. I'll, That's send, I'll send his money bail with, the, with a postcard. Right, hold on a second. Uh, no soup for you. Uh, you maybe want to mute yourself when you do that. Give our YouTube Sorry, audience. You think they enjoyed that? Sorry. I'm serious. I, I put a lot of work into this, man. I, you know, that's that's not that's not nice. Seriously, please. I, I, I appreciate it. it. Thank you. News came out, man. I'm sorry. All right, all right. There we go. All right. So, Hales, what do you say? Do you think get on the plane? Well, so yes, but also, <laughs> do. and I woke up and it was all a dream. Oh, <laughs> the old dream strategy. I get it. That's almost as reliable as chicken nuggets. Uh, Courtney, <laughs> looking at you. All right, let's see. Now, say 1993, what do you say? Do you get on that plane? Yes, yes. I, I would go say my friend from. You're in trouble. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. Listen, I want everyone to think about which volunteer they like the best. All right. We're going to down to see who we have left here in just a moment. All right. Because we're going to lock our votes in three, in two, in one. The voting is now closed, everyone. Let's see how we did. Um, okay. Tay, 1993. How do you feel about You know, you're about to meet one. I don't like them. Don't <laughs> like them. Well, maybe Melvin can change your mind. Yeah. You're about to meet him. Do me a favor and give me a good scream on your way out. That real problem. Here we are. Very nice. 
Oh, wait, uh -oh. I pressed the wrong button. Hell! Oh, no! All right. All right. A technical problem. I can fix this. I can fix this. There we go. All right. Apparently, I messed up. No. Did I? All right, well, here we go. So no, what's going to happen? I I'm going to extend these bridges. They're going to have Hales back up because that wasn't right. Which is that was just wrong. Hales, come on back. Honestly, I looked down. I saw there was no sorry. floor. Come on back up. I'm, oh, no. I'm, I'm truly you. sorry for that. It was a mistake. These are happening more and more where I'm pressing wrong buttons. Maybe I'm starting to lose it. Or maybe I just like to watch my friends eat. You know, that's possible. All right, here we go. So we're going to have, all right, let's see. We're going to be entering. We have two contestants left. Let me give you your, uh, your, your, your enclosure back here. You know, we don't want you to feel uncomfortable. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go into our sudden death round and see if we can't figure out who is going to be our winner today. All right, well, let's see here. We got to we'll open our scores back up. All right, and let's start out with you, Hales. You have a nice trip. Yeah, Sign it was okay? lovely. I think we fed a few all sharks right, tonight. We're doing all right. right. Very nice. Okay. All right, very cool. All right, now, let's see. Now, Dr. Starling, right, uh, after spending months down here at a time, he spends a lot of time down here at the bottom of the ocean by himself, and he tells me all these hours of working alone, your, minds can play, your mind can play tricks on you. Right, you can get like, you know, you can get like kind of, you know, spooked out every now and then. Right. And he tells me this happens back up at the surface, too. So we'd like to hear about a time in your life when you or someone, you know, you know, gave themselves a good fright because the mind was playing tricks on you there. It's the hell's. Well, yeah, well, it was when I first moved in, um, sort of living on my own. I kept hearing noises and I thought I was being burgled. I wasn't. It was just neighbors. And the first thing that I could find to grab to maybe go and protect myself was a coat hanger. So okay. I just sort of walk around my apartment half naked with a coat hanger. I see. <laughs> Wait, now I got to know, did the neighbors meet you with the coat hanger? Did you encounter them in any way? Because that's got to no, be you know, kind of a messed up introduction. Okay. <laughs> no, right, they have well, seen me drink a few times. <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go, Hell. So, you know, they're all right, cool. Very nice. Well, that's probably just seasoning, right? So, David, let me ask you. Yes. Tell me about a time where you gave yourself a bad case of the frights. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. So, I was uh, at the dorms uh, back at my university. And um, this was my first time dorming there. And we had communal bathrooms. So, we would have to, like, wow. shower down the hall. Um. Yeah, I went to shower and I completely forgot my key back into my into my dorm. And so oh. I was locked out, uh, naked in a towel and uh, had to go <laughs> down across the lobby and uh, ask the front desk for my key. And, you know, it, it took a while for the processing. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty uh, frightening. Seeing all these people look at me. What was more embarrassing, going through that or telling all these people that? I'm um, telling all these people that because this is uh, my first okay. time telling people. <laughs> and while I have you, David, let me ask you something. We like to do this. We we want to know why you think you deserve to live more than Hales. Huh. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to start a, a campaign now for people who get <laughs> their their dorm keys. Oh yeah, and, well, uh... sort of movement. Okay, he'll go on to <laughs> the answer. But you, Hales, why do you deserve to live more than David? Oh man. It's not that I deserve to live more. I just probably don't taste as nice, I would imagine. Mm. <laughs> so it's a flavor issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's All right. British I, I bland that. food, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to start an international incident, but okay. You know. All right. Here we go, everybody. I want you to all think about which volunteer you like the best. All right. Because right now their fate is in your hands. All right. So reach out and vote for them by clicking on their nameplate. All right, let's see here. Here we go. So we're, we're going to, you know, let's play what's left of our band. Why not? not much, but it's what we have. All right, everybody. So we're going to close our votes in two, in one. The voting is now closed. Let's see how we did, everybody. Uh, let's oh. see. David. <laughs> David. Um, very important question, David. Does anybody know where you are right now? Uh, no. <laughs> no, excellent. Not at all. Excellent. And you know, like, not anyone that would, like, press charges or anything like that? <laughs> Uh, probably not. Probably not. Excellent. All right. Well, you're about to meet my friend Buster. So if you would give us a good scream on your way out. Here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. Bye, no, David. No, no. All right. All right. Now, some people came in late. So I want everybody to tell me, what did you just see? Seasoning. Seasoning. Very good. You know, I, I really, it's moments like this where I feel like I'm reaching all of you. 
really do. All right, cool. So now uh, Hales is our winner today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take down Hales' glass enclosure. This time I press the right button. Yay. Yeah, I'm learning, Hales. All right, so why don't you come on down here, Hales. Uh, stand right here in front of this circle. So we'll take a picture with your prize kit. All right, let's get back that back right here. All right, cool. So just stand Thank right in front you. of your aquarium. Right, and uh, turn and face us. Now, our audience can help us get a good picture by throwing up all the emojis that you can, so we get a nice picture. Okay, all right. So throw that up and right we'll yell out, "It's shark time!" In three, two, one. Uh, there we go. Oh, very nice. Well, that came out good. All right, awesome. Very cool. All right, everybody. Now, at the end of our events, if you haven't learned how to fly in all space yet, we go out to the Ravenhall Flight Academy to teach you how to fly. If you have any comments or anything like that, we'd love to hear from you. You can come see us, or you can just use our guest book if you don't want to talk to us directly. You know, if you're feeling shy, you can go ahead and fill that out. All right, and we want to invite you back next time when we come together this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Come on out and see us, and uh, you know, and you'll find us in the events tab of your main menu. You know, for your local time zones we're going at 7 o'clock p.m eastern my time but in your place in the world it might be somewhere different oh no i saw somebody fall down <laughs> all right now sharky's going to swim back to his trawler now so everybody let's hear it for sharky thank you sharky okay. we'll see you next sharky. time all right cool all right so let me extend these bridges out now that he's clear there we go all right Hales, let's get out of here with let's left of our music all right come on everybody and i'll open that portal up Attention. here here we go transport right, would to like the to surface is now available Academy, head on back in the please back please proceed the through the lobby to the airlock. We'll head on out to the flight academy. Thank Come you on, for everybody. choosing Let's Raven go. Hall events. Thank you for the shower. Oh, <laughs> sharky. <laughs>